Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out the Duclaw Brewing Company's Unicorn Farts. <laughs> So yeah, that's what the beer is called, Unicorn Farts. Uh, it's part of the Sour Me series, I suppose. Brewed and canned by Duclaw. This is a glittered sour ale. So it's a sour ale that has glitter in it, that's I guess. That's weird, yeah. So uh, yeah, Duclaw out of Baltimore, Maryland. We're gonna pour it real fast, and then we're gonna read it. I wanna pour it aggressively so that I can see hey. all the glitter. Oh, you got some still, hold on. Boom, there you go. Oh, the glitter. I don't see no glitter. Yeah, it's light, but you can see it. I thought oh, it was gonna be really glittery. See mine? Oh, you got all the glitter. Okay, maybe yeah. it's all at the end. Oh yeah, it is all at the end, see? Yeah, we can get the uh, swirls I, mean, I should have swirled it up before I, oh yeah, it's in there. That's cool. That's cool. All right, so before we get sidetracked on that, let's read this can. <laughs> uh, sparkles may settle, swirl or gently invert before pouring. Sorry, I didn't do that. Pony up for a taste of this glittered sour ale brewed with a trio of fruits, fruity cereal, and a swirl of edible glitter. Uh, based on the flavor profile of the famous Unicorn Farts donut made with fruity cereal, this beer is medium bodied with big fruit notes, slight tartness, plus a hint of malty biscuit. A fantastical collaboration between Duclaw Brewing Company and Diablo Donuts. Uh, so I'm guessing Diablo Donuts is out of Baltimore as well. Yep, they're a donut shop out of Baltimore. Cool. So, <laughs> glittery ass beer. I mean, it's not really going to show up on camera too well. No, it's like a very like faint glitter. Mix. Yeah, I thought it was going to be really like heavy. It's not like those thick glitter sparkles that you get at the craft store or anything like that. No, <laughs> it's th so this haze in here that you're seeing right now, this like like translucency. Th this is what it's like. This is the glitter in there. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but I mean, I'm not even, even under these lights, I'm not really getting like sparkly mm. popping out at me or anything like that, but you do get like a hint of it. It reminds me of like glitter gloss, where glitter gloss is like, it Like has, the lip gloss or yeah, whatever? Yeah, like lip gloss. <laughs> it just like the has stuff 12 like, year olds put <laughs> Yeah. You know, the glitter specks are not thick and like robust. They're very faint, but they make your Actually, in the right light, yeah. I'm, I'm starting to see, <laughs> yeah. I'm starting to see a little bit more of it. So this beer is brewed with fruity, like, cereal, or what we think of as fruity pebbles. Dude, it sort of smells like that, Which too. is weird because it's a sour, so I would never put two and two together. But it does, it's like weird. It's like you get this tart yeah. smell, and then it, you get and punched cereal at in the, the same face time. with, like, fruity pebbles. That's so sudden. weird. Yeah. It's like fruity pebbles, yeah, it's like fruity pebbles with a sour kick to it. That's, yeah. that's weird. It's bizarre. So like, yeah, as it settles, I'm getting more and more of this glitter stuff happening. Like it's, it, again, it's not super intense, but it's like, it's in there, I can see it. It's not something that's gonna catch your eye as you walk by a table yeah. though, you know? Like in somebody's drinking this, you're not gonna be like, whoa, what the hell is that? Like, it's not, it's not that intense, but. This definitely brings out like the five-year-old girl <laughs> in me. That's yeah. Like, Yay, glitter. And me. <laughs> okay, well, it, it definitely smells like cereal. It definitely smells like tart, like kind of oranges almost. Let's dive in and see what this actually tastes like. Cheers. Ooh, okay. You know what it is? It's like oranges. It's like orange rind. Aww. It's tart. I'm sorry for the lip smacking, but it's tart. <laughs> it's a little bit more tart than I'm used to. It's, it's like a bitter tart, tartness. but it's not sour. It's, it's just tart. It's like- Yeah, it's just tart, but it's like, it's, Pretty tart. But you know, I'm not getting any of like the fruity pebble notes, I guess. You smell it, but then when you drink it, it's totally different. It's yeah. not totally different. It's just like a tart ale. I, that glitter is so cool though. I can't get over that. Like, <laughs> That's the entire appeal of this beer mm -hmm. is the glitter. Other than that, it's just like a, it's like a sour beer. I don't like sour beers, but I, like this, this level of tartness would be really awesome on a hot, really hot summer day. Like the mm -hmm. other day when it was like 95, 100 degrees, it was like, this would have been, this would have been awesome. Yeah, this is like refreshingly tart. Yeah, it's got this really heavy orange thing happening to me. And I yeah. like that a lot. Like orange is my favorite fruit. So I think that's probably why I like it so much. 
but like, I, yeah, it's really orangey. I'm getting this really huge orange zest kick out of it. I think they could have added like some lactose in there maybe. I mean, while you're while you're doing a glitter beer, yeah. put some freaking lactose in it. Why not, right? Like maybe like a like a smoothie style sour ale of some sort would have been Yeah. really really delicious. But some man, vanilla. I mean, either way, Unicorn Farts is like that's a crazy ass beer. I was joking with my buddy he I was like, I wonder if when I poop if my glit if my poop is going to be all like glittery. <laughs> like a little glitter present. I I'll, have even, to I'll have to report back later on that. I didn't even realize there was this thing called edible glitter. Yeah, until... it's in like cakes and like uh, I've like never had cakes and things like that. At our wedding, oh, at guess... our wedding, we had glitter on our cake. I think I saw it. Yeah, but that was like paint, though. It was like edible paint. I don't know. I guess when I thought of edible glitter, I thought of legit like <clears throat> sprinkled glitter that you could just like. You said the topping on food and you can eat it. <laughs> I don't know, man. This is really like actually quite enjoyable beer. I'm actually really impressed at this one. Yeah, I just, it's... I don't get the fruity cereal. But that's the only yeah. thing that I wish I, I sort of did. You get the, the, the aromas of it. it. Like it smells like fruity pebbles, mm -hmm. but, but I'm not tasting it. And that's a little disappointing. I mean, but I kind of, that's, this is exactly what I expected going into this beer. From the second I read it was a sour ale, but it was brewed with fruity cereal, I knew I wasn't gonna taste that fruity cereal. Yeah. There's no way. I mean, no yeah. way in a sour. This, in a sour beer, the, the tartness and the acidity yeah. take over completely. It just and it cancels kinda, everything out. Yeah, there's no hot presence, there's no malt backbone, there's there's nothing like that. It's just acidity and like tartness, and that's what you get. Um, so that, I guess it's to be expected, but if they could somehow figure that out and kind of get that in there, it would have been so amazing. But either yeah. way, it's pretty good. But it says here, ale brewed with fruity cereal, edible glitter, artificial flavor, and FDNC yellow number five. So it's like, what's that? Uh, That's the shit that they put in uh, like Mountain Dew and Mellow Yellow, isn't it? Yellow five? No. Or something like that? Is that, is that right? I could be wrong, but I feel like that's right. Thoroughly enjoyed this one. <laughs> if not anything, if if nothing else for the pure hilarity, hilarity factor. This was a fun beer to drink. It was, it was. I mean, it, I, and, and you know, I should have read the can before we did it and, and like kind of agitated it a little bit more. But I think that uh, that once you, you kind of agitate yourself, I'm getting definitely some glitter in there. Like once it's warming up, I'm definitely seeing yeah, a lot of glitter. Yeah, you're getting a lot of glitter. Yeah, yeah. I there's... think I drank all my glitter. <laughs> it's a cool novelty beer, but it's also a really good beer. They don't know, that doesn't always happen. Yeah. Like it's either one or the other usually, but Duclaw, man, you pulled it off. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty good. All right, guys, that does it from us. If you're interested in more craft beer reviews or craft beer event coverage, be sure to subscribe and check out our Facebook, Instagram, and Patreon accounts linked in the description below. Until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. <laughs>